Okay, so this is a pre-flight check on the on the flycycle. Um, the restraint cable is done up, and that's just a retention a rope that's secure. Um, the uh, telescopic strut is in the flight position, and it is free to move. Um, this connection is secure. Now it comes a helicopter. So just looking along the wing, battens are in, luff lines are on, they're not twisted. I trust a huge helicopter to come past just as I'm trying to record. So looking inside the wing. The leading edge gets, gets a bit um, beaten up by the straps to the keel, which is annoying. Again, that wouldn't happen on the strutted wing. Yeah. All good. Control frame, joints, rings, wing nuts in position. Uprights are straight. Hand connection, good. Bolts are secure. So I just have a, a look here at the, at the cross boom connection. Uh, looks like that could be a little tighter. But anyway, the nuts done up correctly. Those plates. Here, secure. I'm just going to hold this. Choke. All right. Steering handles. Air in the tyres. That one's pumping up a bit. Sometimes. Uh, you can't uh, use the pedals in flight mode. That is just clear of the base bar. Uh, choke, ignition switch, brakes. And that side, these rings, these connections here. Throttle working properly. Back up this side. That's looking good. And the washout rod is in the right place. All the battens are in. Undersurface battens are in. Okay, it brings us around to here, so engine mounts. Exhaust is secure, there's no splits in it, I can see. That's secure. The prop bolts are Loctited and they're secure. Plug cap is secure. Intake is secure. So just a look for any loose bolts. This is the bungee starter, so you stretch the bungee to start the engine. Fuel, I've got the mirror to look at the fuel level. Harness seat. Okay, so that's a uh, pre-flight check. Consider we're good to go.